Got your back against the wall, no, you know you never had a chance. Should've known better, now you better make other players. There's no going back, gotta let you know in advance. This is Yam Squad, it's the team, team Avalanche. This is Yam Squad, it's the team, team Avalanche. This is Yam Squad, it's the team, team Avalanche. There's no going back, gotta let you know in advance. This is Yam Squad, it's the team, team Avalanche. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Joe Grizz here, Worldwide Yuki Super, here with my boy Mike Kinsley. He got top 32 today with his artifact deck. Um, artifacts. I didn't think they were going to be as crazy as they were. I was right. I mean, I don't think they, like. Once they How much did you prepare with, for the, uh, prepare with the deck before the, the tournament? Uh, well, me and. Uh, and and Tejas. <laughs> Tejas. <laughs> me and Jones' <laughs> pet. <laughs> <laughs> These have been uh, testing since um, probably like March. March. And uh, I was kind of hoping for Neverdis to come out and all my just all my win the YCS. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it didn't, so yeah, they decided to come out with Wolf Penguin, and I had to switch to a full artifact build, which I've been testing for the past probably like three weeks since Neverdis wasn't confirmed. Um, but I kind of like the deck, and I like to let him play Middle Chase. Cause no cake boss. Cake boss. Over here. Cake boss. Well, his, the his build actually topped. Not him though. No. Jonathan Ware. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Ware. Top eight. Yeah, he Jonathan he Ware. over there with the feature match. Top eight over here. <laughs> what, what, what was your what was your record in Swiss? Uh, seven and two. Nine seven and two. Uh, nine two. Or nine and two. Nine, two. nine two, I only lost to uh, myself against a Manolce deck. Game three, I opened three artifacts, wire packs all on. And I almost won that game, but he had pro for my red guy. And uh, I lost to Stardust Dragon and Gears Car Curry. And if it was regular Gears, I would have won him. You couldn't go up anything. I have a bunch of destroying guards, so trap guards. Uh, bottomless and trap tricks and Stardust is Stardust. <laughs> and I lost the Bujins in top 32 because I, I they're Bujins. Oh, Vector Santana? No, I don't have this. Oh, okay. <laughs> what I would have probably rather played Vector. But. <laughs> Vector no shots. Okay. Uh, Vector Santana. 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 Gearges, but not full Gearges, and Christian George is going to let me say that, but yeah. <laughs> definitely only <laughs> Gearges that can put Stardust Dragon on the field. Ain't that like make Stardust Dragon? With a bunch of back row, because Dragon's made Stardust Dragon against me, and I actually beat that deck in time, because he got breakthrough skilled on a title and then turned Shout out to Dave Everett. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Dave Everett, oh that's right. <laughs> shout out to Dave Everett, uh, he's traveling to the future of Malaysia right now. Uh, that's OCG Bobby Johnson. OCG Bobby Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get let's get into the profile. This is hilarious. All right, so to start, uh, we got triple pot of green because you because you never do anything on your turn. Okay. Uh, triple blue guy because he's the best card in deck and we broke. Uh, then I got double red guy because uh, he just makes the best plays, allows you to make your seeds, uh, rank fives. Uh, I usually only pop one most of the time because they have maxi. And that's the only time maxi is good. Uh, one sight. Because he's the he's the devil. Oh, the <laughs> devil to soul charge. Uh, one uh, yellow hyper Isle variant. Um, I usually side it out because people like somehow keep maxi against the deck, even though sometimes you just uh, monster most of the time. And then uh, one green guy, which I'm actually gonna cut for a regular MST, because yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> two maxis because you gotta stop stuff, stuff like summoning. You know, draw cards because maxi. Drop, drop, make it maxi. No, well, and uh, this is more two power trap tricks, Merlini though, to search my bottomless and my uh, trap tricks trample. Uh, I, I don't know. That's, that's it for the monsters. For Fifteen monsters. Years, like, uh, spells. Uh, you have to point um, point played uh, two dualities. Triple. Artifact he Mission, said, which is just a ridiculous card, plus one. Um, great when you actually draw the red guy, which nobody likes to do, but I'll take I'll it. Take it on. You'll take it. Pop the red guy, uh, the way the chain works, he goes to the graveyard, you search for the blue guy, and then uh, summon the red guy, pop the blue guy, that's just said. Uh, triple double cyclone, uh, which I like better than MST because it lets you still go plus one. Regular MSTs, basically your MST in your own card, and you're not really doing what you want to do, which is destroy your opponent's cards. And you like to hit their like wire taps, so and break your skills before you get the monster off, because then uh, when it's her, when the card is sent to the graveyard for breakthrough skill, you can't activate it the same turn. 
and two Soul Charge, which I found out like half the other artifact players weren't playing, but I'll take like a free one card Bladies. We're gonna talk about that. Or uh, yeah, this guy, Tejas. Uh, Tejas. <laughs> uh, sometimes you bring back Vermilio, and I wanted to like get lucky and draw both of them, and then like summon both, pop two back row, and then make a rank four, but that never happened. Never, never happened. It never happens like that. Never. Never, <laughs> <laughs> never that lucky. Alright, so traps. Oh, you already know what's coming with traps. You already know what's coming with the traps. Uh, Staples. Uh, this card sucks in a mirror match, and my opponent keeping it in the mirror match in time actually won me a mirror match. Uh, I don't know why you keep it in, because got hands and the trap card. Uh, double break through skill for the mirror and star track. Uh, two call the haunted. Some people play three, but you know, drawing triple call the haunted or multiple call the haunted early game kind of sucks. Uh, double Trap Tricks Trap Pool Nightmare, which is broken against everything except for Starter Dragon. Uh, the, 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 doesn't it uh, beat Starters? No. Because Starters a activates in your control, so I, I figured yeah, that would... I, I figured that's it, uh, only if you activate it in the same turn that Starters activates, but it actually says that... Uh, actually, you can't do that, because it says your monster your opponent controls, and it's called Trigger Starters. So. You have to control the monster side. Okay, that, that makes uh, sense. Triple sense. of like one of the best trap cards ever. Um, my opponent warning this yesterday, and that was just ridiculous. And uh, you got uh, all these traps in the back row and the breakthrough skills. You know, you got to be fresh as hell with the feds watching in the back row. Triple wide <laughs> attack. Triple wide attack. It's only the feds if you got three. You play two. It's not the feds. Only the feds if you got three. But it's like probably one of the best trap cards. It was really underrated this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I played against one person only playing one in the in the. Uh, the kid who played in the mirror match, she played one, and I was just like, you gotta play more than that because of this card. How important do you think uh, Breakthrough Skill is this format right uh, now, as of right now? I think it's really good, but uh, I played against one person. I played against uh, Ali Yassin, or what I pronounced the last name right, uh, he's from Canada, and he was actually playing in Infernities, and there's a card that's way better, I believe, and he believes too, um, and it's Chalice. Yeah. You only get to use it once, but you don't have to like wait to make your plays because you don't have to set it. And, um, you just play it from your hand. It doesn't have to learn how to get MST first, and you can use it in battle, and damage stuff, and stuff like that. So I think it's really good. Uh, Breakthrough is still really obviously great, but uh, I'll probably side deck uh, challenge in the near matches or against other artifact decks. For future, future matches? Uh, if you could have changed maybe one match, one thing you did wrong in a match, what would you would it be? Like throughout the tournament? Throughout the entire tournament? The Bujin, game three, uh, he had a turtle and I had an ice hand. And there was like a, a ruling question that he had for me on the fire hand that he attacked into with Crane. So he already drew kind of ass. And uh, he had attacked my fire hand with Crane and he activated debunk. And I activated wiretap. And he asked me if I can, if he can activate debunk again. So kind of gluing me into thinking he has another debunk set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to play around that or potentially warning, but I thought, you know, maybe it really is a debunk. So he had summoned, uh, I, next turn I attacked 14 with Ice Hand. Uh, Set, World Attack set, um, call him on it. He had the phase MST, the blue one. And uh, he summoned Turtle, attacked, and I thought for a second to think if he would, you know, debunk and I would just, you know, moral attack. Because he had two back row, and uh, he ended up, I ended up flipping the call on it. He warning, and then four damage, he activated breakthrough skill, so I got, he had no back rows left, I got no ice hand effect, and I ended up losing because of that. So if I had to play one change, I uh, wouldn't have played as aggressive with the call, because I would have won two turns later had the call gone off. But should have just slowly played because I had two debunks and a DD Pro. So even oh. if you drew a Yamato, I definitely wasn't going to lose. That's no sick. Cranes is going off, but you got, you got anxious? Yeah. Anxious. Because I just wanted to win in two turns with pressure on movements. Which, you know, you got to do that. You have to. Uh, you want to share a side or no? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll share a side. Because some of the cards are going to change. Um, <coughs> one card, DD Pro. Uh, I only side like one because I don't really want to draw a lot. Plus, you know, I side like people like reveals. So uh, this is good in the dragon matchup. Great demir match. Um, uh, nah, it's not too many matchups. I sided against Boogie, but you know. the hands because you, know, you gotta put you gotta put the hands on the Lord. If you on, you gotta put <laughs> the hands on him. Nah, right? I put the hands on him. Uh, he goes all over trying to squeeze his in. <laughs> Put the hands on Ophion, uh, round 11, and uh, snuck out of that one because I definitely almost lost because he actually kept putting them on the board. But, um, uh, Zombie Worlds, which I would actually probably change for the Chalices because 
I didn't draw it against the Wuja deck, but I feel like the hands, crows, and debunks should definitely be enough. Um, two debunks, because definitely have to. Uh, two black horns, because yeah. two more warnings. Uh, two deep prisons, which is really good in the mirror match, really good against the hands. Uh, I sided against Bujins just because they don't have the. Uh, they're normally going to dump air first against me, and I'm just trying to keep him out of the board. And, not have to worry about Onyx. And then MVP, which is pretty much the only reason I actually made it to top uh, last two matches of the day, was Fossilina. Uh, I actually found out I accidentally <laughs> cheated with the ruling, but uh, uh you cheated the ruling? It was accidentally cheating, because uh, accidentally, 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 I'll admit that. Um, the kid in the mirror match, uh, I set a hand first turn on turn one with no back row. He opened with hand and five back row set, and we were both just passing, 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 and we're in time, and then I drew a, ta a Dinah, and I set it, because he's going to think it's another hand, so he's not going to attack. Um, so I figured if he drew another four star, he'd flip and try and make cowboy. And he did. He drew trap tricks, switched bottom list, flipped high hand, made cowboy, and he for eight. And I drew, and I pretty much knew I won from there because I just flipped Fossil Nine, and he was pissed. He changed the rental tribute, and I activated my ice hand. Well, I said I activated my ice hand, and he played Solid Warning, and none of us questioned it. And I was just hyped that he warning did time. So then I just set card D five, set card card D five back row passed, and he drew and just gave me a shape. And then I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty much how you do it. <laughs> I mean, either one of us questioned it, but he didn't question it. Uh, Whatever he is. Like, like, <laughs> yes. Hanse told me that afterwards. Uh, Can you clarify he was like, that uh, after? Uh, what? Can you clarify that after? Hanse told me afterwards. He was like, uh, I told him Missouri, and he was like, uh, okay, so you cheated. And I was like, I guess. Uh, so you didn't, I mean, you didn't know you were yeah, cheating. Yeah, neither, neither one of us paid attention so, to it. Uh, you weren't cheating, you just got uh, unfortunate circumstances. Yeah, but for, <laughs> fortunate circumstances. Oh, for, well, fortunate for you, fortunate but, for him. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, I set it against uh, Ophion in game three, and he didn't attack either of my face downs, fearing hands, and then I flipped it, and he changed the rental tribute, and then lost. Because Trenchard doesn't own Ophion. So he Trenchard doesn't own... Wasted? <laughs> well, he Trenchard to get rid of this, and then I summoned a hand, and then he just knew it was over. Okay, I guess. Because we were going to time. Because he okay. kept taking, like... He took four... The last turn, he goes past to him with his turn three. I'm going to be turn four, and he's going to be turn five. His turn three took four minutes. And he only had two cards in hand. And he's playing Evil Swarm, so I don't, I don't understand what took four minutes. But... That's the side deck. It's, and it's pressure. It's pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure. And on to the extra deck. Uh, two Pleiades, because Pleiades is too strong. Uh, too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Uh, it just disrupts, disrupts all the opponent's plays. Um, it's great when you bring it back with Soul Charge. And then uh, two Volcasaurus. Uh, a lot of my friends actually like, question why I was playing two. But I play Soul Charge, and I was expecting to play maybe more Dragon matchups, and they Soul Charge, and then if I Soul Charge them back or make Volcasaurus, I could make double if I had four in the graveyard, and just win the game. Uh, Zen Mayo, which is just ridiculous. Uh, YOLO boy. YOLO boy. Uh, I made this like three times this weekend and won every game. Uh, Shadow Ninja for the mirror match. Um, and maybe if I'm going into time, because I can't be destroyed in battle for the turn. Uh, Durandal, which I only made one time, but it actually won me a match. Uh, I was fearing like maybe a deep prison or like a memory or anything like that. And I was just going for a game. He was, all, he was below 2000, so I just made it and attacked. And he had a deep prison, but I needed it. Uh, M7, and I only made that like once. It's rare that you used two of these effects and didn't win. Um, Guy Charger, because it's just Guy Charger. Uh, Standard and everything. Uh, Ragna Zero, um, which I actually like to just try out a rank four, um, just in case for the Medulce matchup or anything that obviously modifies attack and defense, like any type of maybe Fire Fist deck or Gravekeepers or anything like that. Um, <laughs> Black Ship of Corn for the hand and hands. Uh, Zen means if it gets stuck because you can't get over 21 defense. Uh, mirror match. Uh, Black Ship or uh, Silent Armor because broken. Uh, X Time Knight, which is self <laughs> glory. Gaga Cowboy for games and uh, Dweller for the hands and the mirror match. So,
Emerald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have to really Shout out to Albert for giving us a lot. Give These are the new Yugi Legend sleeves. Oh, let me see them. And Babel. Yes! Babel, Babel. Babel. <laughs> and the Madochi Babel. <laughs> you replace one, one ice hand with one Babel. No. Yeah. Oliver, so uh, how would you run Aiko? <laughs> Didn't, didn't win that round. <laughs> didn't win one round. Like this guy? Was it him? <laughs> <laughs> Defeated a world champion. <laughs> Bill Payne was a world champion. Relax. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, Mike, thanks, thanks for the profile. <laughs> and congrats on your top. Uh, this is your boy Joe Grizz. Uh, signing out. Later, guys. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>